Most of the time when I do a famous grave video, I highlight the life and accomplishments of those that I visit. Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens presented a different type of cemetery visit than my normal visits. There were two different tragic events that occurred within the country music community that shook it to the core. In the latter part of this video, we are going to take a closer look at those events and how the graves of those that I visit today shape those events. Unfortunately, our tour today is the most tragic that I have taken so far on my channel. But join me as together we take the journey. We are in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. We are currently in the Music Row section of Forest Lawn Cemetery here in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. Um, in this section there are several notable graves including Lefty Frizzell, Hawkshaw Hawkins, and Grand Ole Opry legend Stringbean. Lefty Frizzell was a country music singer whose hits include the famous song Saginaw, Michigan. He was a performer at the Grand Ole Opry, is a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Donald Helms was famous for playing steel guitar for the likes of Hank Williams and Johnny Cash. He is in the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame. Jack Anglin was part of the duo Johnny and Jack, performing at the Grand Ole Opry. When you start researching and looking at the cause of death of some of the uh, notable people buried in the cemetery, you'll quickly learn and quickly find that there's a lot of tragedy surrounding a lot of the people in here. Even now, the black cloud of the following events still hang over the country music community. On November 10th, 1973, David String Bing Aikman and his wife were murdered at the hands of intruders into their home. The intruders had waited for hours for the Aikmans to return after he had performed at the Grand Ole Opry. Born in Kentucky, String Bing was taught to play banjo by his father. He was able to use this talent to succeed as both a performer and comic. Aikman was one of the Grand Ole Opry's biggest stars throughout multiple decades. He would later be part of the television show Hee Haw. Aikman and his wife were known to be frugal with their money and the rumors were that he kept large amounts of cash. This probably led to him being targeted by the intruders. The resulting investigation led to the convictions of their murderers. Unfortunately, this is not the end of the tragedy in and around Music Row. On March 5th, 1963, the plane carrying Patsy Cline, Cowboy Copas, and Hawkshaw Hawkins crashed in Camden, Tennessee. Hawkins and Copas are both buried in this cemetery. The plane, which had been flying in low visibility conditions, crashed in a wooded area. There were no survivors. Cowboy Copas was known as the country gentleman of song. A member of the Grand Ole Opry, Copas was an established country music star when he passed away in the plane crash. Hawk Shaw Hawkins was born in Huntington, West Virginia and began performing at a young age. He was most well known from the 1950s into the early 60s. He was a member of the Grand Ole Opry. There were four people killed in the plane crash. Ramsey Hughes was the pilot when the plane went down, a respected musician Hughes was also the manager for Patsy Cline. Hughes was married to the daughter of Cowboy Copas. They were laid to rest right beside of each other, further highlighting the impact of the tragedy.
Earlier in the video, we visited the grave of Jack Anglin. Unbelievably, he was killed in an auto accident on the way to the funeral of Patsy Cline. For all of those who haven't done so, I please ask that you subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button to join me on my cemetery and history related journeys. Uh, give me a like and comment on what you think and what you'd like to see. I am also on Facebook. Just search for Whit Docs. I would love to see you there also. Thank you for watching and please keep watching. There are big things ahead. I really appreciate it. Thank you again.